What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another reverse 1999 video and it is status update time guys. The challenge account PV Chow, PV Chow, I hate that damn name, uh, is available now to review on Limbo. So I'm going to show you guys where I'm at, how far I've gotten, how I plan to beat this using only three and four star characters and hopefully complete Limbo all together without touching a five star or six star at all. Okay, so first off, let's go to the crew. Um, oh, just so you guys are aware as well, storyline wise completely beat uh almost almost finished all of star uh, hard mode i'm just going through but i got 30 33 32 out of 330 here four stars um i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the uh the fourth one i think i've got maybe five or six hard modes left and then i'm completely finished uh using the following crew right as you guys can see here again we've got molich at 50 pavia at 50 uh la source at 50 the fool at 50 i'm working on apple to get to 50 eagle and then rabies <laughs> that's right rabies is really really good uh and this is actually going to be a key part of my completion i have to finish up rabies and get him almost uh maxed out and then i'm going to show you guys my other unit that i plan to use to complete 15 limbo and that's currently where i'm at you guys can see here as usual the six stars are not being touched the five stars were just touched only because i wanted to get the the resources back right from the, the 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 beginning of tales or tale of beginnings or whatever uh and then from there we're going to focus on other units as well now the goal here of course is to complete all three and four star units max them all out as fast as i possibly can and then use them and utilize them in various teams and give you guys the best compositions for them now i'm going to say this right now because i've had a lot of time to work on them this is one of those games where you shouldn't judge a book by its cover okay i truly mean that a lot of these three and four star units have really shined like almost throughout every piece of content. I'm first off floored at how good they are. And even more, I have to give credit to the developers of this game because they've given everyone an opportunity to belong somewhere. Whether it's limbo, hard mode, resources, whatever the case may be. Every unit has a place if you put it into the right team. Now, not a lot of team building games don't have that, right? There's always a meta. And in this game, there's obviously a meta, right? And usually everybody runs the meta, and I believe that's what's happening. But for me personally, I've been loving the crap out of this, man, guys. This has been the most fun I've had in an RPG gacha game in such a long time just because it's forcing me to read every single text, every single skill from one star to three star, and again, build teams around some of the lower tier characters, which to me are actually killing it. So very excited to continue this whole trend. Now, I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at, okay? Because I think this is important for you guys to kind of see. So artificial, uh, of course we, we're done. I have one, st one freaking stage left that I haven't completed. Uh, two stars, I'm going to go back and get that done so I get full rewards. Okay, so you guys can see that that's almost done and I got to do this in the next five days so I can reap the benefits of getting this every week. It's very important to do that, guys, because these these right here, the oneric fluids uh, or oneric fluids, whatever you want to call them, these are becoming a lot harder to, to keep because the resources to get resonant up for all these characters is starting to cost quite a bit, right? So... If I were you guys, fully finish this. I'm planning to do it in the next five days so I can, I can get these uh, these rewards every week. So that's that's number one. Number two, Limbo. So you guys can see here, I have completed one, two, three. I got to go back and finish this one and get the full six stars. Four completed, and I'm on currently Limbo stage five. Okay, and then there's only there's only one left after that, right? There's just this one. This is where it's starting to become a little more difficult. Okay, so I'm currently on this stage at the moment with the two body bags or garbage bags whatever you want to call them and i know what my my problem here is and this is why i'm building rabies these guys hit so damn hard right these two metallic body bags that it's hard to keep my guys alive but i have a plan to fix that problem i'm going to share with you guys the plan after i show you guys my problem here right okay how, how this battle works out so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick um where my my problem lies obviously first off my eagle is underbuilt she's she's not ready yet for this kind of fight um pavia is, is is okay but everyone else right now is is currently not on this team my secondary team which has the fool molish uh molik sorry i think it's molik i'm pretty sure it's molik uh and also um uh la source is actually a really good team for this so I'm going to actually break that team up a little bit later on. I'm going to tell you guys what I plan to do. And there's a reason why I'm building Rabies uh, and also going to be building uh, another unit that I'm going to talk about that deserves a little bit of 
Limelight, and that's going to be Nick Bottoms. Okay, you guys have all probably tried Nick Bottoms at this point because we all did the tutorial. But you guys can see here, these guys hit really, really, really hard. Like, we're not like, look at this. They can almost take 25% of one unit's HP out completely. They have AoE damage, and it's it's no joke. Like, look at this. Pretty much killed everybody almost at this point. Uh, and they're only at a quarter health. Now, the, the furthest I've taken these guys down has been, if I recall, at 50% each because of my AoE Pavia. But that's it. So I have I, I know I know how to beat this for sure. There's a, there's definitely a way. Now, can I beat 16? That's gonna be the real question. This one is doable, I think, for sure. Once I set my team up, I may have to finally dive into a five star eventually for 16, but I'm still gonna do my best not to bother doing that and still focus on trying to beat it with only the three and four stars that I currently possess, right? So you guys can see here, just killing killing me, right? Okay, so the reason why Rabies plays such an important part in this is because every every attack he does will give will provide two stacks of or one stack of poison, right? You guys can see there one stack right there. That poison right there is going to be what's going to help us beat this these these guys here. Now you guys saw I died, right? I'm lacking level, I'm lacking psi cube, I'm lacking resonance. So fair enough. This is not a problem. I promise you guys. I just need to build a team specifically for this fight. And I think I know exactly what I'm going to do. So let me break it down to you guys so you know what the team is going to look like to beat this content. I'm going to show you guys when I'm done. So first thing, the Fool. 100% planning to use him. Now, the reason why the Fool is so important here is because of two reasons. Number one, he does this corrode, right? So he does a taunt and then for two for one round. And then when the caster is attacked, the attacker suffers two rounds of corrode. Or if you have it only at one, it does a little less. So see the, see the damage there? Sorry, guys. One sec. So you guys see the damage there, right? With one star, he only does 20% Genesis damage, which is true damage. With two stars, he does 30. With three stars, he does 35. So the goal here is to give three-star counters, let them suffer from corrode damage, and keep him up as long as you possibly can. So that is that. this is the first unit I plan to use to get this done. Also, not to mention, uh, his... This the sage actually reduces two mossy, so that's going to help us avoiding them from doing their ultimates. And then, lastly, unexpected improvised. This is important as well because it actually ends up adding another duration for corrode, allowing us to hit hit them for more genesis damage. Genesis damage is again true damage that can't be countered. It's it's always going to be the same no matter what. The main thing with corrode though is it can't kill a unit. It'll take them to one HP, but will not kill them. So that's that's the main thing to note about corrode. Okay, so he's going to be the main tank for this fight. The second unit that we're going to use is going to be Rabies. Okay, and again, I agree to explain to you guys why Rabies is important here because he also does mass attack, has penetration damage, but more importantly, as I mentioned before, he does do um, poison, right? His insight one, after the caster attacks, the, the target suffers one round of poison. When a round ends, Rabies attack does 30% genesis damage. Now, poison can, in fact, kill a unit. So I'm hoping to keep him alive long enough in order to do enough poison damage where it just ticks away from him or from the, from the enemies and, and kills them off, right? Now, here you guys can see one target attack deals 450 reality damage. If the target is in stats down, negative status, or control, this attack deals 100% more reality damage. So ideally, you want to have as much reality or as much a status or control, negative status or control stats down on these guys. So this is going to help a lot. Now, the third unit I mentioned was Nick Bottoms. I'm hoping this works out. Okay, again, I want to stick with the four stars. Nick Bottoms is important here because he does a few things that will really help in this fight. One target buff, his forest eulogy, HP, uh, recover to the caster, purify stats down, negative status and control. That part doesn't really matter, but also the an ally gains HP in this action times 150% and a shield and enters summer dream status. Now, summer dream status is immune to all status effects, negative status controls. Again, not a big deal for this fight. This is the part that matters. Damage taken reduction is plus 20 and regains one moxie when a round starts. So this is going to help keep the fool alive with the counter or the, the taunts. And then the attack here allows us to remove moxie. So now I have a secondary moxie removal, which is really good. And then lastly, guys, the buff here that matters the most is going to be this one. One target buff, reality defense and mental defense plus 30% and damage taken minus 30% for two rounds. This guy is going to help us keep the fool alive. And those poisons are going to just utterly destroy the unit. So I'm hoping, guys, that with him there, with rabies and with um, and the fool, it should be enough to take care of it. Now, if all goes south, 
I have Lasaurus, which I can use as a healer if I have to as well. But the goal is to have her on the secondary team in order to beat it. So there you guys have it. That's the plan. I'm going to start working on this tomorrow um, and start putting some effort into Rabies, some more uh, into Rabies and also into Nick Bottoms. And then hopefully get them maxed out and jump in here and finish off Limbo 5. Now, if you guys are wanting to provide some suggestions on other other builds you guys think may help feel free to let me know in the comment sections but i think this is absolutely doable so i'm very curious to see how far i can take this um once i'm done this this is the last stage for this one and then we move on to six and then we'll really see if i can beat this using only three and four stars or if i actually have to go into a five star section and if i do plan to go five stars i'm probably going to necrologist and click just because nobody uses them ever uh, and, I'm, and i just want to utilize them somewhere where they'll make sense all right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, please let me know in the comment section your suggestions on units that you think that may be able to beat that stage from a three to four star perspective. And if I'm out to lunch with my setup, but I think I've got something going that'll work really, really well. All right, guys, catch you later.